So the past couple years of my life have not been rainbows and sunshine. It's been a lot of dedication and hard work to something that I didn't really know if I was gonna even succeed at. Nothing but a balloon waiting to be popped by a pin. And I set out on this journey after dropping out of college, upsetting my family, my parents, giving the people that love me a valid reason to doubt my decisions. I'm not trying to make this video super depressing, but I just realized today that the scariest thing that ever happened to me was the people around me started to congratulate me for the successes that I've had in my life. But when I look into the mirror, I don't see that. I pulled myself so far away from reality that if someone drops a $10,000 check in my lap, I, I wouldn't even smile. To be honest, at this point, I'm not really searching for money because I've made a machine that can print out as much money as I want when I want. If you guys don't know who I am, my name is Daniel Alexi. I'm 22 years old. I own a pressure washing business in Northern Illinois. And throughout my journey, the last two years of actually having this business, three years in total of working in the pressure washing industry, I come to realize that I'm not chasing money, I'm chasing freedom. And I started a pressure washing business because I had the idea that if I started one, I'd be able to hire somebody to manage it, hire a bunch of employees, and then I'd be able to sit on the beach drink margaritas and enjoy my life while my business made me infinite amounts of money. What I didn't realize is the amount of time that it would take for me to get there and the realization that I might've picked the wrong marketing approach to set myself up for that type of success. For example, my company is my last name and services. So Alexi Services. When building a company that you expect to go nationwide and have multiple locations, you should create a roadmap from the success all the way back down to where you are now. And then it's easier to actually follow that roadmap because you know where you're trying to get to. Throughout my time of building my business, I didn't really do that. I just kind of started. And so there's been a lot of lessons that I've learned in the last couple of years. And there's a lot of things that I would have done differently right in the beginning that if I did, I probably would be in a very different place right now. Now, to be very honest with you guys, my business does over $100,000 a year. And given that I didn't have any employees, I would be able to make that same amount of money or more with very little overhead. I have a feeling that there's a lot of people out there right now that don't want a million dollar business. There's a lot of people out there that do not want 100 locations nationwide from coast to coast. If that landed in your lap, I'm sure you'd say, okay, sure, I'll take it. But there's a lot of people out there that I know are just looking to make an extra couple of thousand dollars per month, maybe $1,000 $2,000 extra by working a couple weekends or working a couple extra days throughout the month. I want to show you how to do that. But I really want to talk to the people that are looking to make that little bit of extra income because I know how much $1,000 extra a month could help you, especially if you have a wife or a family with kids. Money's hard to come by in today's world and with the rising prices of everything, it just goes out the window so quickly. And that's why I started this video saying that I've kind of become desensitized from money. There's days that I'll get written a check for my business for $10,000 dollars and within the snap of a finger it's gone on some bills or expenses for the business now when i make a hundred thousand dollars in my business i pretty much take all the money and i put every last dollar of it back into it it's like an endless feeding machine and i put all my money that i've earned into it so that's why if you guys don't see me in fancy cars or wearing expensive clothing and stuff one that's really not me and two i don't take my money and buy luxury items i take my money and put it back into the business because it prints me more money so if i'm speaking to you right now and you're somebody that wants to maybe do this for themselves i can teach you a few things by subscribing to this channel i'm going to teach you how you can make a little bit of extra income whether you're pressure washing window cleaning gutter cleaning or practically any other home service business that you decide you you want to do these strategies and these tips and systems and processes that i show to you and that i'm going to help teach you are going to be able to increase the amount of money that you're bringing home every single month on the side while maintaining your full-time job and you might be able to get to a point where you can actually do it full time if you choose to i'm not sitting here selling you a pipe dream saying that i will make you a millionaire i'm not saying that this business is going to go nationwide 100 locations and that you're going to be living in a mansion having yachts and private jets i'm literally just trying to explain to you that if you're tired of working a nine to five job, if you went to college and you realized your degree did not get you what you wanted, if you just want a little bit of extra money, I can teach you how to do that all by investing in yourself. So we're gonna start with a couple of very basic things. You're gonna need some type of vehicle. I recommend that you need a pickup truck if you wanna do anything pressure washing related. If you wanna do window cleaning or gutter cleaning, you could probably do it from a car or a work van. But pressure washing, there's a lot of things like hose reels and stuff like that that you probably would want a pickup truck to be able to build out frame for yourself to do it. I'm gonna take you guys on a journey that can change your life if you want it to. Why am I so optimistic? Well, like I said, two years ago, this was me. Weird, right? Most of these people online will tell you, this was me two, three years ago. And they show a picture of some like really nerd loser kid in high school who just got bullied and shoved into a locker. I wasn't that kid. 
I didn't get bullied. I didn't get shoved into a locker. I wasn't loser. I wasn't broke. I was okay. I come from a middle class family. I'm not poor. I'm not gonna play a victim card. I'm just here to try and explain to you. I was okay a couple years ago. And honestly, I was probably more fit than I am now. I definitely weighed 20 pounds more than I did two years ago, and it's not muscle. But I did make a business for myself that makes over $100,000 a year, so I've done pretty well. Like I said, I went to college for one year and I dropped out. I didn't want to go to school. I hate college. I hate school. And you might be wondering, just like I wonder all the time when I watch these videos online, and I say to myself, if this guy was making so much money, why would he be sitting behind the camera telling me how to do it? Why wouldn't he just go and do it himself? Well, the truth is, I don't think I get much satisfaction out of making money. And that's why I've mentioned that I've become desensitized from money. Money really didn't make me happy. No matter how much I went out there and worked for it, I worked, 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 worked. No amount of money coming in really brought me to any type of happiness. So I realized that maybe I need to dig a little deeper and realize what would make me happy. And I really think that what would make me happy is to be able to show some people the tips and tricks that I know of how to start a business like mine. You could say it's a business or a side hustle, but my joy would come from being able to help you to do what I've done for myself. So where's the course? I, I know you guys are probably wondering where my course is to buy a course. I don't have one and I don't know if I will. I don't know if I'm gonna make one. I don't know if I'm gonna sell anything. Honestly, I have no idea. At this point, I just wanna make some YouTube videos sharing what I've gone through in the last two years, explaining some knowledge about the industry, starting a business, explaining equipment and marketing and finances behind business. So if you are interested in learning from me, 22 year old who started this business at 20, started with between five to $10,000 and ran it up to $100,000 a year business, then subscribe, leave a like, and leave a comment down below with some questions. I'm gonna be making videos answering your guys' questions, and I'm gonna be talking about important topics that are going to help you guys in your journey in starting. And I am going to announce something that I do wanna do with you guys. I wanna take a few of you that really want this, and I wanna take you up under my wing, not for any cost, but just so that I can confirm to myself that what I'm telling you guys is true. I wanna take a couple of you guys and I want to teach you guys how to do what I've done. So I'm asking you, if you are one of those people that are willing to take a risk and you're willing to listen and be coachable, I would like for you to contact me. You can do it through the comment section or you can find me on Instagram and shoot me a DM saying that you'd like to learn how to start a home service business. And I'm gonna take one or two people and I'm going to give you everything I got and I want you to take it and run with it. Why? Because it would give me satisfaction. It would give me satisfaction knowing that I'm helping people. I don't come from a rich background. I don't come from a poor background. I'm just somewhere in the middle. And so I've never been super unhappy to the point where I'm just gung-ho about money. Yeah, I wanna make money. Yeah, I would like to own expensive vehicles. And of course, it would be cool. It would be fun. But it would not make me happier than seeing other people's lives changed for the better because I was able to help them. So to end this video, I'm not here to sell you a course. I'm not gonna take your money. I just want you to subscribe and watch these videos. And if you really are interested in trying to start a pressure washing business or a window cleaning or gutter cleaning or anything within the home service industry, contact me. I'm gonna take you up under my wing and let's do this together. I'm really interested in helping one or two people, seeing if what I know is actually beneficial, is actually going to work for you too. And then if it does, I will go ahead and take that information, bundle it together, then I'll make a course, then I'll give it to you guys. And that way you'll actually know it's true. I just wanna make sure that what I'm doing right now is actually legit. And I wanna be honest about it. I wanna take somebody, I wanna transition their life from where they're at right now into a money-making machine who can support their family off of just starting their own business. I will help you. Thank you guys for watching this video. And as always, I'm gonna love you and leave you with a nice old Adiós.